You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. This summer, we're helping you get to know the UK basketball team, and tonight it is all about Kellen Grady. He sat down with our Josh Berrien. You played coach out there for a little bit, and uh, they were giving you a hard time. <laughs> Yeah, the, the other team didn't like some of them. One of them asked me why I was coaching. Um, <laughs> I was like, just trying to help out. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I, I like being able to help out. And uh, we, we, would, we always had teams at Davidson when we would coach. So, you know, I've got some experience doing that in camp. And it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we were able to win, too. How important is it uh, for you guys to be able to do things like this, be able to go out in the community, just spend time with the kids. How important is that in terms of the early development as it relates to a child's growth in the game of basketball? I think it's huge. You know, when I was a little kid, I, I really looked up to, um, you know, college basketball players and NBA players. And, um, you know, here at Kentucky, the the impact we have on, you know, the whole state here is, is you know, is very unique in, in terms of um, you know, the potential impact we can have on kids. So just being able to, to be in the community, to interact with, with people and, um, you know, show, us what, show them what type of people we are and, and that, you know, we have a um, kind of an obligation to be engaged with the community at, you know, given their support towards us. Um, so that's something that's been, you know, surreal to see the way, you know, the, the, the state reacts to us when, when we go, and, you know, uh, do community service and are in public um, and at these camps and it's um, it's been humbling and it's, it's been enjoyable so far. Obviously you're coming here from Davidson it's a it's a whole different ball game but you had a very very successful career there um, how do you feel like your your leadership as well as your scoring ability is gonna uh, help this team uh, in areas that they you know missed last year? That's what I'm here for coach Kyle told me why he wanted me to be a part of this team and he, he expects a lot of me and I think although the Atlantic 10 is not quite as good as the SEC um, it's a respectable league it's a multi-big league every every year and I think that wealth of experience and playing in 120 some odd games or in, in college will prepare me to, to have an immediate impact here and, and hopefully help the team win in as many ways as I can. What can BBN expect out of Kellen Grady when they head into Rupp Arena this fall? You can ex expect someone who's um, going to work hard and, and, and work towards the team goal um, and in between the lines um, someone who's competitive who's a score, you know, at heart and, and, and can shoot the ball and, and score, um, you know, in the mid-range with flutters and jump shots and, and at the rim. But like I said earlier, ultimately wants to, to help his team win in whatever way he can um, and do all the little things that, you know, that the coaching staff requires of me. Do you have a favorite NBA player or a guy that you grew up watching and, you know, kind of took a, you know, piece of their game and tried to, you know, hone that skill? Well, Steph has been my, my favorite player um, just throughout my whole kind of maturation process as a basketball player, but um, someone who I've watched a lot lately um, this year and, and really since he's kind of excelled in the pros is Devin Booker. I'm sure everybody would, loves to hear that, but he, he just his ability to score at all three levels and his efficiency and his in his moves and, and, and the way he plays is, is um, I've really appreciated watching him, especially in the playoffs and the, the way they've played. So, you know, Steph and Devin Booker are my, are my two favorite players right now, undoubtedly. What makes a knockdown shooter uh, between you, Dante, CJ, all these shooters now that we have on the squad? You know, what, what, what does it take to be a knockdown shooter in your eyes? Is it form? Is it just consistency? You know, what is it? That's a combination of those three things and then repetition, I think. Uh, good repetition, you know, People always say practice makes perfect, but uh, I was told a few years ago, perfect practice makes perfect. And what I mean by that is taking game shots while you're practicing, coming off screens like you're in a game, shooting with the quick release that you that is required of you in this type of basketball, um, and just getting shots up and, and really working at it, I think is kind of the ultimate tool to becoming a good shooter, along with some God-given ability.
I'm looking at your resume here. I mean, 17 points per game, you know, a consistent 17 at Davidson. It seems like you have the resume to go into the draft. Um, why did you feel like you needed an extra year of college basketball in order to do that? Well, I think playing at Kentucky and playing against SEC players every single day, um, you know, with, with the added exposure of pro scouts floating in and out throughout the, throughout the season, throughout the preseason, um, playing in front of 22, 23,000 people every night and playing on the road in hostile environments, all of that will better prepare me for the next level. I am as confident as can be that I will be a much better basketball player in nine months after leaving from Kentucky and will be better prepared for the next level than I would have been in any other situation. Great stuff and we are not done yet. You're watching BBN Tonight.